Let's talk about the Justin Fields fan club. It's very okay. interesting. They okay. are big, and they they accept zero criticism. Zero. Fields. Zero. And they have an explanation for every criticism you could throw. If he's this, here's here's an, an example of him doing what you said he didn't do, so I just invalidated your entire critique. <laughs> what do you think of the Justin Fields fan club? Dude, I, I can't. It's hard, man. It, it's really hard. And the, the thing is, is that a lot of people that I, I really respect are a part of this fan club and this Fields mob, I guess I'll call it. But it's hard to be on Twitter sometimes because you can't say anything that questions Nothing. Fields as a prospect without just being berated and having 50 likes on that comment, yeah. proving you wrong as to what you just said when it's 100% true, by the way. Yeah. But I get it though. In the sense it's like every, there is a history of black quarterbacks getting too much scrutiny coming out of college. Right. It's happened before. Right. And I think he was the one who got all the scrutiny out the gate this year. Yep. Not No one knows who the hell Trey Lance is. Right. Uh, it was Justin Fields. He's the, yep. he's the marquee dude from Ohio state. Yep. And I think he got it. And everyone's like, here we go again. Even though a lot of it is valid. I mean, everything Chris Ooh. Sims says, I agree with. But uh, And he's not doing it just because, you know, he's racist. He liked Lamar Jackson. <laughs> he loved Lamar Jackson. So right. I think there's a little bit of like, you know what? We're not going to let this happen again. We're not going to let this happen. And you know what? I get that. I yeah. totally get that. You know, maybe me and my Jewish brethren should have had Josh Rosen's back a little bit more. <laughs> right. I, mean, I totally right. get wanting to be the yeah, counter. For sure. For sure. counter force. Um, but it's quite interesting to see what you can get caught up in. I mean, I just put out a tweet comparing Haskins and what's his face fields throwing motion. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, I got canceled for two days. I was like, <laughs> Oh my God. Like, it was amazing. <laughs> so, yeah. It's it, it just, it blows my mind. Like, <laughs> all right. So I literally had a back and forth with someone and I showed them word for word what Shane Day from Ohio State said their offense was. And you know, you know what, you know what the the comeback was? What? That article doesn't know what it's talking about. That they completely fabricated that whole thing because really it's all about choice routes and option routes and going deep. And I'm like, how do you argue? This is literally from his mouth. Yeah. What their offense is. Yes, it talks about option routes and choice routes, but as far as the intermediate game, it is high low read. As far yeah. as the shallow game, it's going to be a crosser game. Yeah. Yes, there is those option routes built in. And I talked about his 3.11 second hold ball time. Well, that's because everybody's on an option route. Well, actually, no. when they no. do those routes, it's one player on that. Right. He has anticipation issues. This is not me saying he's a one-read quarterback because he's absolutely not that. You can see no. his head turning every right. play. He knows what he's doing. He's a smart guy. But it doesn't mean he doesn't have weaknesses. All of these guys have weaknesses. None of these guys are 100% pro ready. And that's Lawrence like included. Dude, he plays like Tarzan. And he <laughs> processes like Jimmy. Okay? That's Justin Fields. Plays like yep. Tarzan, processes like Jimmy. Yep. He processes like Jimmy. Yep. And that's not the worst thing you could say about a quarterback. Jimmy's won a lot of games, but we know how Kyle Shanahan feels about that dude and why they're trying to move on. You really think they're going to bring in the dude with the same issue? <laughs> Maybe. By the way, if Fields never they... improved that, just based based off of his athleticism and, and the way that he can play in his skill set now, he could still be a top 15 quarterback in this league. And can he improve that? Sure, of yes. course he can. Yes. But it doesn't mean that it's not something that he – is perfect at he has to work on these things. Shay says, "I dare you to de guys to debate a Kosh on fields. That man comes prepared. Nah, That's man, fine. I've tried. I've tried. He wins you every can't. time. I can't. You're, you're, him. I can't say that. There's a every there's any a, time you say something, they're like, oh, you can't say that because he did this one time. Yeah, against Penn State. You can't yeah. Say that. Okay. All right. Well, look, I don't want to debate it, man. Let's just see what Justin Fields does in this career. I'm rooting for him. I'm not I'm rooting too. to be right. Who cares? Go By Justin way, Fields." I would be happy if he was our quarterback. Like that's the other thing yeah. is that yeah. almost you it's want funny. him. You don't you don't want Mac Jones. No, I definitely don't. But it's funny because I could literally say, "Hey, these are his deficiencies," but I hope that he's the pick because the alternative is Mac Jones, and I think that Fields has top ten upside in this league. None of that is taken into consideration. It's 
what did you yeah. say bad about him? And let's go to war. Like, okay. I don't think he's Deshaun Watson, but if he's Jimmy no. Garoppolo with a rocket arm and four four speed, well, I mean, you can work with that. <laughs> yeah, of course you and can. It may not be Kyle Shanahan's cup of tea. And that's basically what I'm saying. I don't think Kyle's going to take him. I could be right. wrong. It doesn't mean he's right. not going to be good. I yeah. If he went to a team that spreads it out, lets him run the ball, lets him hold it, lets him throw it deep, like Seattle. Of course, he's not going to go to Seattle. He could do great. And he's the kind of guy who could have a ton of success early on, like RG3. In fact, they have a lot in common. Maybe RG3 was a little skinnier, five pounds, but about the same. Uh, Really fast guys with rocket arms who you could argue RG3. RG3 won a Heisman. Did he not win a Heisman? He won a Heisman. So, um, RG3 had a really good rookie year and got hurt. Some people think he, he won, won a bit of he won, didn't he win rookie of the year though? Yes, also? he was the highest. He won it over he Andrew Luck. That's right. Okay. So I, Justin Fields could definitely be a baller. I just don't think Kyle's gonna want him. And maybe that's gonna lead to him getting fired. Did he win know. the Heisman? I don't remember if he won a Heisman. He could have. I don't I know. I think I remember somebody in the chat. Hook us up. Did he win a Heisman? Remember he had the races? I thought he had the <laughs> <Yeah>. braces. <laughs> <laughs> he was kind of a goober. There's something about him. <laughs>